Hi, my name is Jen, and this is a story of a man. It's a story of a man stabbing his girlfriend to death, cutting her up, and spreading out her body parts in the woods of a small town, Budan, Sweden. The criminal system deemed this man to be dangerous and the likelihood of him committing similar crime to be quite high. This probability is based on the viciousness of his crime, his interest for weapons, war and explosives, his personality flaws were also accounted for in this assessment, such as his inadequate emotional registry, inflexible thought patterns, low stress tolerance and social awkwardness. He was sentenced to a class 1 facility for particularly dangerous criminals and 14 years behind bars. In a logical and fair world, this would be the end of the story. Wait, in the logical and fair world, he would have gotten life behind bars and we would not have to hear or see him ever again. But this is current year, and this is also Sweden, so the story is far from over. A year later, so this happened in 2013, and a year later, in 2014, the news came out that he was no longer going to be sentenced for murder, but instead for manslaughter, and his, his sentence was brought down from 14 years to 10. This was from what I understand, because of inadequate evidence from the witness stand. Later, in the year 2018, so last year, the news broke that Christopher Johansson no longer wants to be called that, but instead now wants to be known as Kim Marie. He felt strongly that he was a she. Last night, the news broke that the murderer will be moved to an all-female facility. This is due to him feeling bullied and harassed at the class one facility for particularly dangerous criminals where he belongs. The criminal institute here in Sweden wants to allow this man to undergo, or did, the criminal system in Sweden allowed this man to undergo sex rearrangement behind bars. He was offered a microphone and a platform through a TV documentary about criminal minds here in Sweden where he could speak about his gender dysphoria. And now, he is allowed to transition to an all-female facility. They don't have class 1 facilities at the all-female prison. Has Christopher stopped being a threat? And when did this happen? There is no evidence shown that him transitioning to female would change his entire person so much that the initial criminal justice prediction of him being a repeat offender would have changed. My question then becomes, why would you allow such a dangerous man to be moved not only from class one, because remember, he was in class one for particularly dangerous criminals. He would not only be, be moved from class one to class two, but also be put in a class two general population, all female facility, where the likelihood of him being a threat rises tremendously. This is an insane case to me. I never thought that his wishes would come true when I read about it a year ago. This man has killed an innocent young woman. She was loved by her mother, her family, and her friends. Her mother said in her testimony that she was not only her child, but her best friend and her world. The mother testified that her entire, wor her entire world crumbled when she became aware of the news that she was murdered. <sighs> now the mother, the murdered girl's friends, her family, all have to hear about this deranged monster's pity fest. He tore their life apart and now asks, asks to be seen as a victim of body dysmorphia and bullying behind bars. When you end an innocent life, you lose your privileges of self-fulfillment. He should not have had the privilege to undergo sex change therapy behind bars. He didn't even get life sentence for his crimes. Ten years is what he got.
10 years, let that sink in, 10 years for killing an innocent 20 year old girl. And now he gets to spend the rest of that time in a female facility. This is not the only case like this. This has happened before in the United States with at least two notable cases. One in which it was a convicted murderer and one in which a criminal was a ch child, uh, fill in the blanks. I don't believe we should be letting men into female only spaces. Not into all female prisons, not into women's sports, and not into women's locker rooms. I think that transgenderism is being used to excuse deranged people to do deranged things. I think the LGBTQ lobby should take a harder stand towards instances like these. And I believe that the criminal justice system needs to get 100% harsher on crimes like the one Christopher Johansson committed. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching. Bye! If you like this video, you can subscribe to my channel, like the video, and comment what you think. If you want to support my channel, I have a PayPal and a Swish. Your donations allow me to spend more time making videos and allow me also to better the quality of these videos. Thank you so, so much. Bye.